don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description as advertised in the previous tutorial let's take a look at now adding and um, modifying fields with required values a common problem that you might have when making changes to an existing table is when you want to add a new field which is a mandatory field if you already have records in the database and you want to add a new field which is a mandatory field it will mean that you need to add data to all the current existing records in your database for this new field so let me just show you an example this is our models that we've created so far i'll just go ahead and add a new text field here which we know by default is a mandatory field we'll add that in the attribute table it doesn't really matter at this point we will uh, rewind and delete that afterwards so let's go through the migration process we make migrations and straight away we are told that we are trying to add a new field which is not is not non-nullable field so it means that we need to address this by adding some data some default data into the fields that may exist now this is a new database in actual fact none of our data we don't have any data sorry in our database but we will still need to address this now at this point if you did want to make that change and you don't have any data in your database then one step might be to delete all your migration files so the initial and the second migration we created and the database file and then just make the migrations again that's one resolution to this problem likewise if you are using data fixtures you don't have much data in your database that can be a quick process by simply again just deleting all your migrations if it's not a problem at this point if you are just developing your application there isn't necessarily any massive need for us to keep a record of the changes because we just want to reset everything and then just create the migration again and everything will be fine because we don't have a current migration and just migrate the data back into the database so that's a, another step you can take now that isn't always going to be the case because you might have a quite a lot of data in the database you don't want to start deleting everything so what can you do now depending on your particular scenario it will depend on how you fix this i'm making the assumption that you are new to django rm and you're not working with a database that has a hundred thousand or a million records at this point so we're just going for a simple resolution at the moment which is going to help you while developing your own database so think about what i said previously so something that can be a, a good resolution potentially when you're developing your application initially and you don't have much data or any data is just to restart delete the migrations like i said and the database file and re-migrate everything now if that isn't an option for you potentially you might want to go ahead and add the default value so you can add a default value equals whatever the default value you want to use or alternatively you can set null to true so we can set null equals true that would also resolve this problem so if i set that now and just press a control c to close that and try this again so we make migrations again you can see this time the migration has been created because we've set the default or or null equals true ultimately if you are at the start of your development it's probably always going to be better to remove the migrations and database and then just go ahead make the change migrate again and then add the fixtures add the data back into the database